create a new project. Type in Windows Forms. Pick Windows Forms App Net Framework with C Sharp. Click Next. Give it a name. Place solution and project in the same directory? Yes. Just go with whatever is default. Press Create. Here you can resize the form window as you like. Don't worry, it looks ugly, but if you press Start, it shows up kind of normal. Let's change the title of the window. It says Form 1 for now. For this, in Properties, change the text while this is clicked on. Whoops, don't double click. Go back to Form 1 CS Design. Here, Form 1, you can change that. If you don't see the Properties panel, go to View, press Properties window. Let's call it I'm great at coding. Yes, this is a very good title. Microsoft will hire you and Google as well. Again, if we press start, you can immediately see it changed. Okay, let's add something. Let's add a button. Okay, let's start by adding a button. For this, click toolbox on the left. If you cannot find it, press view toolbox. And here you can just type in button and just drag it in. You have a button now. You can resize it. Oh yeah, by the way, let's resize the window or form by changing properties over here. Size, let's set this to 240 by, whoops, by 160. I used tab to confirm. You can also press enter. Okay, the button is now here. Let's uh, try to get it out. Okay. Yeah, good. That's fine. Okay, we can change the text of the button by clicking on the button, of course, and then scrolling up here. It says button one for now. Text changes this to a better button title. Enter. And we can change the font over here. Let's open up font and change the size to maybe 24. Yeah, that's good. If we test it, there's a button, but it doesn't do anything. Let's make it do something. Let's double click the button and it immediately jumps in here. Let's uh, try that again. Click, click. It jumps in here. Private void button one click. So in here we write what happens when we click. Before we can change something, let's change a variable, just a number. Before we do that, there needs to be a variable we can change. So right after the public partial class form one form definition and then the squirrely bracket, let's enter three new lines and type in private int, it's gonna be a number. Let's call it counter and semicolon. Never forget the semicolon. Okay, now when we click this button, let's increase that number. Counter plus equals one semicolon. Seems like a good idea. If we start now, nothing happens. Now let's make it so that the text of a button actually uses this variable. So let's just write here button one dot text equals counter and this does not work because it's an int but it needs to be a string so let's not do that let's write after counter dot to string parentheses open parentheses close and start it works you know what i think it would be better if we initially set counter to zero and uh, also do this Let's try it out. Yep, it immediately sets it to zero. We have a working counter button. Okay, problem is it disappears behind the other windows when you click on other windows. To fix this in public form constructor, let's just add a new line and then write this topmost equals true. And if we start it now, it does not go behind our windows. Hooray! Now one thing that bugs me is this ugly icon. Let's click on the window form. Let's scroll down to icon. And let's select an icon file. Let's select it in this folder, but there is no icon file. I am going to use GIMP to create an icon file. You can also download some icon if you want, but I'm just gonna go to file, new, make a 32 by 32 icon and I'm just gonna, oof, I guess I'm gonna write something. Add one, 
let's reduce the font to maybe six no nine set it to just Arial 14 is 14 fine add one that's gonna be my fantastic weird icon so I'm just gonna file export this and I will call it best icon dot ICO it has to be an ICO file export oh whoops my bad let's uh, first merge this to one layer merge down export it again yes one layer 256 colors is enough now I can select this icon file and uh, start hey doesn't that look great and the button still works and now I'm gonna just build it build solution it's done now let's just right click in solution explorer if you don't see it go to view solution explorer and right click the solution and go to this blue arrow open folder in file explorer in here you have a bin folder and then the debug folder but actually we don't want a debug let's just make a release build build solution again succeeded so now in the bin folder we have a release folder let's get in there and here we can just delete the config and pdb file click to add one number it works it stays on top of other windows unless we use the same feature and that's it you can send this file to people who trust you enough to execute an exe file the people who want to run this will need to install some net runtimes first if they don't have them yet so that's a different thing to worry about you can also re resize us feel free to ask questions in the comments if I see something interesting, I might actually try to figure it out and help you. I made this video because I couldn't find a simple, straight to the point attempt to do something like this. So I hope this was useful. Let me know if it was. Reward me with a like or even a subscription if you dare. And I will maybe see you in the future at some point if uh, we happen to do the same thing in the future. Until future, ciao!